Alrighty, greetings and welcome, welcome back to another fragrance video and another fragrance review. And in this review, we will be going a bit more further away from the more expensive luxury niche fragrances and talk about some cheapies or more precisely the brand G Bellini and their fragrance Om. So you can find this uh, fragrance brand in most Lidl stores today. However, this particular fragrance is a bit more hard to find because it's usually sold out. Why is it sold out? Well, it's because it's a decent clone of a very popular, very famous designer fragrance. Which one is it? We will talk about it a little bit later. But now let's take a quick look at the bottle and the packaging of this fragrance, then come back here, talk about the fragrance notes, how the fragrance smells, and overall if you should buy this fragrance. it's time to take a look at the packaging of the Om fragrance starting with the box so it is a blue cardboard box at the front it says the name of the brand G Bellini fragrances we have this a logo of a bee which reminds me of a logo of another company but we'll talk about that a little bit later uh, the name of the fragrance on Paris and the concentration so this is an eau de parfum concentration or EDP and the size of the bottle 75 milliliters of course all of the letters are in white also if you're curious this one is in fact without microplastic and here we have some more information on various different languages again it says the concentration and also the fragrance is vegan if you're interested in that part and on the other side we get the ingredients or the notes listed as well as the ingredients Lidl, the size and barcode, and at the back, the back is same as the front. Uh, below, at the bottom of the box, we get the batch code number here, exactly right here, but the camera doesn't focus for some reason. Yeah, we have 4052, and at the top, it says again, G Bellini Fragrances. And let's open it up, let's take our bottle out, take a look at the bottle. So it is in fact a blue glass bottle. At the front again, it says G Bellini Fragrances, on Paris, Eau de Parfum. At the back, we have the size, the concentration, some more information. It's produced in Germany. Below, we have the uh, batch code, the same as the one on the box. And at the top, we have our cap. It's a black plastic cap, and it has a very good grip on the sprayer, so you can actually grab this bottle by the cap, and it will not fall off. When you take the cap off, you can see the silver sprayer. And let's check out how the sprayer actually is. So it's a very good sprayer, sprayer, something somewhere on the level of Versace Blue Jean Sprayer, which is not bad considering the price of this fragrance. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go back to the original perspective now, talk about the notes, how the fragrance smells, and overall if I recommend you to buy it. And we are back, so that was the packaging of the Om um, fragrance. Overall, I think the fragrance packaging is very good, especially considering the price, but again, about the price a little bit later. Now let's talk about the officially declared fragrance notes as listed on the box of this fragrance. So the top notes are the notes of bergamot, orange, and grapefruit. In the mid notes, we have lavender, jasmine, and pepper. And in the base, we have wood, vanilla and musk now longevity and projection on my skin are fantastic so on my skin this lasts an easy eight hours how to know this well i apply this fragrance before i go to work when i come back from work eight hours later i can still smell this fragrance on me the projection is also fairly decent after I apply it, it gets about a meter and a half of projection within the first two hours of applying the fragrance, after which it slowly becomes more of a skin scent. Now, with regards to the seasons, and I'd recommend you to wear this fragrance, I think this is easily an all-season fragrance, so I can see you wearing this in the more colder months of the year and in the more warmer months of the year as well. However, maybe I think this is a bit more better performing now when it's a bit colder, at least in Europe, it's a bit colder. Uh, age range, when I would suggest you to wear this again, it's a bit more of a universal fragrance, uh, I can see this on a high schooler, I can see this on, an, on a more older gentleman, let's say like that. So I think it's a bit more universal of fragrance regarding the age range. And finally, occasions when I recommend you to wear this. This is definitely a fragrance for some like casual occasions, casual hanging outs with your friends, or maybe if you want to go to a nightclub or something, you can, you can apply like three, four sprays of this fragrance, and I'm sure you will be attracting some attention. And that's it with regards to the overall general specifications of this fragrance. And now let's talk about how this fragrance actually smells. The fragrance has a slightly metallic opening. I think from that uh, you can already kind of uh, guess what this is a clone of. Uh, along with that metallic opening, we also get 
the beautiful citrusy fresh opening which is possible by the presence of the bergamot and orange notes and also we have a slight slight bitterness from the grapefruit note uh, now as the fragrance starts to develop it goes into the mid notes it becomes harsh it becomes spicy from the presence of the pepper notes it becomes a very harsh and very spicy fragrance and then as we finally go to dry down to the base notes the fragrance starts to become less harsh less in your face it becomes more rounded more well blended and also you get a slightly warm smell from the vanilla and a slightly woody kind of pencil shaving kind of woody smell from the presence of the wood notes in this fragrance i think this is cedar wood i think cedar wood is what's in this fragrance i mean it's not officially listed but i guess that's what it could be because it's it has that like pencil shaving woody type of smell which cedar can sometimes produce so that's how the fragrance smells now if you're still not sure what this fragrance is a clone of after taking a look at the packaging and explaining how the fragrance smells this is a clone of sauvage from the house of dior in fact it's a pretty good clone of it now is it the same no of course it's not the same i have your sauvage edt i put it on this hand or and i would put this fragrance on the my left hand i would compare the smells and there is a definite difference if you put your nose to both of these fragrances however the difference is mainly in the quality of the ingredients because this tends to smell a bit more synthetic than the original dior sauvage uh, i didn't think it was possible that sauvage can smell more synthetic but yes yes it can so the main difference is just in the quality of the ingredients if you would just pick this up in the air you would probably not know that this is om and that it's it's not uh, Sauvage. So it's a very, very good fragrance. It's a very good fragrance clone, in my opinion, especially when you consider the price of this. So you get a 75 milliliter Eau de Parfum fragrance with pretty good longevity and projection, very close to the original smell of the original fragrance it's inspired by uh, for only $5. Yes, I paid just $5 for this brand new in Lidl. Uh, now this was a discounted price. The original price is like six or $7, but still it's under $10 for a fragrance with this good of longevity and projection, this good of a packaging, this good of a fragrance smell. I don't know. I don't know how they did it. Maybe this begs to, uh, maybe this just would make us question if Sauvage is a bit overpriced, if this can cost under $10. But yes, overall, do we recommend you to buy this fragrance? Yes, absolutely. If you're somebody who likes the smell of Sauvage, but doesn't quite have the budget for it yet, I think this is an excellent alternative, or maybe this would be a good present for somebody a bit younger, uh, who maybe, you know, if somebody's too young, maybe they're not really that responsible, maybe you shouldn't get more expensive fragrance bottles just yet, but I think this would be a good present for them. And overall, I was very surprised when I smelled this fragrance for the first time and that's why it's mostly sold out because it's just that good for that low of a price. And that's pretty much it regarding this review. Um, so if you like this review, as always, of course, leave a thumbs up. If you dislike the review, leave a thumbs down and maybe give me some suggestions on how I can improve my content. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more fragrance or wristwatch related videos. And until next time, guys, have a great day and bye.